Hi guys, I wanted to take you along with me to clean and prep for my clients. I always do this. Um, I like to be ready at a time. My client always sends me her designs ahead of time. That's only if they have a design in mind. Um, if not, uh, we can pretty much freestyle, but they usually let me know. But this is how I get ready. I take all the instruments that I used. Um, give them a good rinse and I go ahead and start drying them up. And by the way, I hope everyone's doing good. Um, I hope everyone's ready for the holidays. I am, but not really because I'm kind of getting tired of the same old routine. It's like, what can any po anybody possibly want, you know, every year, you know? But anyway, I got to stay positive. <laughs> but yeah, so I took everything out from my sterilizer from... Uh, the previous stuff and I just put in a little sterilization pouch and I just seal them up and then I go ahead and put them away I like to um, I keep it in this little drawer to my left which you're about to see and I have all my other instruments there and I usually put the clean the one that I just disinfected on the bottom so I recycle basically all of the so every put pusher is being used and I know you guys seen that roach <laughs> I swear it's not real. It's fake. Um, I keep other little bugs in there because I do like to scare some of my clients. And it's only select clients, not everyone, you guys. That's just the Virgo in me. I like to be a little spontaneous, make it entertaining, I guess. Um, I definitely have to go with the vibe. <laughs> but yeah, so I just put my nipper and my pusher in the sterilizer. Um that's just something that I do. You don't have to, but I do just to give an extra disinfection or sterilization. Um, and then my bits, I do not put in the sterilizer because just from experience, I put a metal bit in there and it literally burned the heck out of it. Like it rusted up really bad. And I use my little book there, my composition book. I keep notes on all of my clients so I know exactly what I used last time. And I'm not sitting there guessing on what I need to fill in because the client today will be a fill in. Um, and I also keep notes in case they want to use the same polish from last time, but can't remember. And I can't remember. <laughs> so this book is my canny book. And this is the brand polish that I usually use. It's canny. And there's also a, a brand, a brand called um, Benalisa. They're literally the same company. Um, and it gives you like 100, 100, 120 colors in the book. And it comes already like that, already made that way. And I freaking loved it. And they last pretty long. Like I've had that already for quite a while. Um, so I picked out the colors based off of the design she gave me. Um, but you'll see we did end up switching the color to a lighter minty color. But yeah, so I'm pretty much getting all the little last pieces that I need to prep for my client. So I'm ready to go. I like to be ready and prepared. Um, it just makes it a lot faster for me and a lot more easier. So I'm not like all over the place, you know, and it just goes smooth, smooth, you know, and I feel like it also makes the client feel special, you know, to know that I'm all ready to go, you know. So here's my client, Crystal, Crystal, and these are the nails that we did. If you haven't checked out this video, please go to my videos and check these out. I, this set was so cute. They came out so pretty and they're still looking good. Um, I believe this is three weeks. Yeah, three weeks, I believe. So yeah, um, so we're going to go ahead and start removing everything and get ready and start getting ready for the application and i'll jump back in when the art starts
without you, I don't feel whole. Look what you've done to me now. You got a body like a model. You got a body that you always find. Open up a bottle, and baby, you can have whatever you want. You taste so sweet. I can't help myself. You like candy. You like liquid honey. You taste so sweet. I can't help myself. You like candy. You like liquid honey. You like liquid honey. You like liquid honey.
I just wanted to mention I did buff. I just forgot to record it. Now here for the gingerbread men, I just did a triangle and then a line straight across and I used my dotting tool to apply the head. Then I used my fine detail art brush to put in the details on there. Um, now I just want to mention I know my gingerbread men look very uneven in some of the on some of the nails but I feel like I gave it more character because when we're baking well when I'm baking cookies you know my cookies don't really come out perfect every single time there's always that one that's perfect then you have another one that's second to perfect you know so you know how it goes so um I really felt like the imperfections gave it so much character it was just so cute these turned out absolutely stunning um, and I also wanted to point out, I, when I, whenever I'm doing any sweater nails or any like 3D acrylic, um, art as in like painting a gel polish and pouring acrylic over it, um, I prefer to use a matte top coat. Sweater nails to me, in my preference, look better matte instead of shiny. But I do want to mention if you do use a shiny top coat, just in my experience, I feel like the gel polish did not adhere properly to the smooth, smooth top coat. There is no porous texture to the top coat. So um, that's why I prefer matte. Matte is more porous in texture. So it definitely, if all the art sticks on there versus a shiny top coat. So just in case you guys are wondering, that's why I prefer matte top coat but this set is my first christmas set y'all and i was just so so happy how this came out i love them so much and i hope you guys do too and let me know what you guys think about the video the little things that i added here and there let me know if that's your vibe because i just want to try something new you know make it more entertaining for you guys um so with that being said i'll let you guys finish the rest of the video like those buttons for me subscribe if you're down for my content and i will see you guys next time